Now we will discuss about wave optics. What is the meaning of optics? It is a branch of physics which deals with the motion or propagation of light. What is optics? It is a branch of physics which deals with the propagation of light. But the title of the lesson is wave optics that means light has the nature of wave. There are many theorems which has been developed to understand the propagation of light. First one is Newton's particle theory. Second one is Huygens wave theory. Third one is Maxwell's electromagnetic wave theory. Maxwell's EM wave theory. Like this, many theorems are there. Each theorem predicted the path of the light in a different way. The first foremost understanding about the particle, uh, the nature of the light was given by Newton's particles concept. Next, the drawbacks of the Newton's was explained by the Christian Huygens. The drawbacks of this one explained by the Maxwell's EM wave theory. Next, many experiments did by different scientists like Compton scattering. Next, uh, there are many experiments which have demonstrated the nature of uh, light, photoelectric effect one of the greatest issue to understand the behavior of light. So what is the conclusion? There is a quantum theory even while we are discussing about the photoelectric effect of the light we discussed we concluded at the quantum theory of the light also. What is the quantum theory of light? Light behaves as particle as well as wave. So such like that these are the main theorems which are involved to understand the nature and propagation of the light. We will discuss one by one and their drawbacks and afterwards the conclusions in the each theory. Yeah, what are the particle nature of the lights? It's particle nature and wave nature. Light exhibits many characteristics. It has different phenomena. It exhibits different phenomena. Different phenomena of light explains the nature, its nature. So to understand the particle nature of the light, the phenomenon of reflection, refraction, these Two are the important exhibitions of the light. And these characteristics are exhibited by light. These are foremost and well understanding concepts. These two support the particle nature of the light. But when you go to the wave nature of the light, the interference, diffraction of light, polarization of the light, Such like that many are there. These three are the important one to understand the wave nature of the concept. Wave nature of the light. So these three concepts are these three phenomena of light explains about the wave nature. That means in this lesson we are going to discuss about the interference and the atmosphere which supports the interference. Diffraction, the atmosphere which supports the diffraction. Polarization, the atmosphere which supports the polarization. Supporting atmosphere means what are the minimum conditions required to exhibit the interference of the light. Next, conditions required to exhibit the uh, nature of the diffraction. Conditions required to exhibit the 
polarization concept by light so these things we are going to discuss these concept reflection refraction at a different media explains in a ray optics chapter so these three things and this supportive nature we are going to discuss for this purpose we should see the the basic theories of the propagation of light first one is newton's particle theory or corpuscular theory Yeah, there is a separate setup for the corpuscular. What is this corpuscular? Yeah, Newton assumed that whenever there is a source of light, it emits the light in a form of particles. He named that particles as corpuscular. So, light source emits the light. as a group of tiny mass particles called corpuscular means this corpuscular has less mass its mass is not calculated or not considerable when compared to the speed of light and the one more thing he noted is these corpusculars travel with enormous speed so we can write the speed of corpuscular corpuscular is enormous enormous means uncomparable highly large so this concept was proved by Maxwell with his experiments and he proved that the speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second it was it was, uh, later it was proved by mr. Maxwell with his uh, electromagnetic wave experiments and one more thing he said that okay this corpuscular will come out of the light source when you switch on it but what is the reason for the different light sources means if you want to see the difference in the light different light sources have different corpusculars and these corpusculars have different in sizes so the different light sources contains different size of corpusculars Because of the difference in size of the corpusculars, nothing but the particles, different radiations will come out. If radiation is nothing but the color of light. So, due to this, different radiations of different colors, different wavelengths are coming out of the source. So what we can understand is there is a particle called corpuscular. It is uh, the assumption by Newton. And this corpuscular will come, up, come out of the source of light. And it is a very tiny mass particle. So he named that particle as corpuscular. It has uh, different sizes. It has uh, enormous velocity. Nothing but the speed of light is enormous. 
and one more they, due to the change in the shape of the corpusculus there is a possibility for the emitting of different wavelengths means the different colors of the light sources is due to the difference in the size of the corpusculus these are the conclusions given by mr newton cut sir fourth one the speed of corpuscular changes when they travel from one medium to another medium this phenomenon actually leads to the concept of refraction is a wonderful uh, assumption by the mr newton the, the speed of corpuscular or corpuscular changes while they change from or while they are traveling from one media to another media one medium to another medium this is one point important point and the last one the, the important assumption of the newton's theory is when these corpuscles touch the retina or falls on the retina we get the sensation of vision when this corpuscular or corpuscule touch the retina touches means falls okay when it touches the retina we can get the sensation of vision actually if you see the assumptions made by the newton with respect to the propagation of light mostly all are true but there is no experimental support for this validity that is one of the important point for to get the drawbacks in the newton's theory so he said that uh, the speed of corpuscular changes while they are traveling from one medium to another medium and one more thing this leads to the refraction as we discussed earlier but he didn't pre, uh, what is the demonstrated how this refraction takes place and one more thing whenever a light source emits the particle and his explanation is suppose if this is the first particle which is coming out of the light source it will be in rest for some while when the second particle collides it then it moves to the forward when third particle collides the second second move forward when fourth particle moves the third third move forward means it's a discrete manner but this discrete manner is not at all possible in the reality if this discrete manner of the radiation of light is true then if you switch on a light source that light should take a one hour or more time to occupy a room width that is one of the drawback in the assumptions made by the newton's theory so he can predicted the reflection and refraction but for him it is very difficult to demonstrate with the experimental support and he failed to name that phenomena that is one of the drawback in the newton's corpuscular theory then mr christian huygens involved in this theory after some years then he concluded what is the wave nature of the light if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus